Enough for you? Anybody yeah. say that to you? Uh -huh, okay. a lot. It's been mugging a muggy Monday as our heat wave stretches on. People are doing whatever they can to stay cool, including taking a dip in the fountain at Logan Square. Well, Chief Meteorologist Kate Bilo is here with the next weather alert mm -hmm. forecast, and boy, we are just sweltering yes, in indeed. this heat. This is about the time of year when I start fantasizing about apple picking and football uh -huh. games yes. and just like the fall, fall the winter. fall. Yes. Feels so far away right now. <laughs> it really does. We're in the mid 90s again today. We are in another heat wave. This one, we thought maybe we would break it over the weekend. We did not. So it's now in its seventh day. We'll probably end up being a nine day long heat wave, the longest one this season so far. We had eight days last time. Tomorrow looks pretty rough, but by the weekend, you make it. It's not going to feel like fall, but there will be a little hint of comfort in the air. Maybe a little crispness when you wake up in the morning, Friday or Saturday or even Sunday, that makes you think, okay, fall might be somewhere nearby. Today feels nothing like that at all. Here's a live look at Logan Square. A lot of people cooling off in the fountain there. Temperature wise, well, you can see why they're cooling off. It's 94 degrees right now. Feels like 102. Dew points are so high. There's so much humidity that it feels more than five degrees hotter than it actually is. So you have to dress for that feels like temperature. That's what your body will really feel like when you step outside. That's how your body's going to respond to this heat. Temperatures right now across the map. We're in the 90s in most spots. Atlantic City getting a little bit of a break here. A south wind bringing some cooler air in off the water. It's in the 80s there right now. The shore, the place to be today to beat the heat. Storm Scan 3 does show a little batch of showers and storms starting to head toward the Poconos. Now, most of these are still to the north, but you can see just east of Williamsport, we have a little bit of green here. And if this follows the same trajectory, this will likely impact parts of the Pocono region with a few scattered showers and storms, possibly a stray one for their south, but they are few and far between tonight. More active tomorrow. Tonight's low, 78. That's the low temperature. We would all take that as a high right about now, but 78 degrees, there is no relief even overnight. Warm and muggy overnight, and then for tomorrow, we're at 96. Hot, hotter than today, feeling like as high as 105 at the height of the afternoon. You can see as the heat index really surges tomorrow, 10 a.m., it's already feeling like 96 degrees, and by the afternoon, feeling like 105. And then we'll be watching some scattered showers and storms. So anything tonight is very isolated. Tomorrow, we get storms start to fire up here about 6 or 7 o'clock. You can see they will be with us through tomorrow evening. Some of these could be locally intense, by which I mostly mean heavy downpours. We are in a marginal risk for severe weather. You can see this narrow corridor of green. That's a level 1 out of 5. Basically, for strong gusty winds. But I think any storm will run a bigger risk of flooding rain because of just how much moisture these storms have to work with. So, a few storms late tomorrow, a few more widespread storms on Wednesday. Biggest risk heavy rain with downpours and perhaps some localized flooding. Very localized. You have to get stuck under one of those storms, but very heavy rain. After the storms Wednesday, showers Thursday morning, and then the good stuff comes in. It is going to be a beautiful stretch and well earned, by the way, Friday through the weekend and into next week. Yuki will send it back over to you. All right, Kate, thanks so much.